Is Amari Jefferson good enough, a baseball prospect, that wherever he goes, he will have to work to keep him out of the draft? Um, Matt, you can chime in on this if you like. Right now, I don't think that that's a strong possibility. Things can always change. But right now, I, I don't see him being a, you know, a guy that you really have to work to keep on campus. Um, and then Tennessee's third most difficult game. That's you know saying that Tennessee's two most difficult games are Georgia and Alabama. The third one, is it at Florida? A&M at home or Kentucky the week after Alabama? That's a good question for anybody. Yeah, it is. It is a good question. Um, you know, I'll say this about Jefferson, first of all, because that, that was his first question. Kid loves baseball. I mean, he's yeah. in the middle of recruiting right now, and he's playing baseball. And he's playing baseball the whole month of July um, on the weekends. And, and, I mean, he worked to get his official visits in, but, he really doesn't – he really wants to play baseball, and I think he's a really good baseball player. And I think Tony Vitello did a really good job uh, along with the football staff on the official visit up here. And I think I think baseball is a feather in Tennessee's cap in his recruitment uh, when it comes down to making that decision. So um, I don't think he's going to the draft, but I do think he's a guy that certainly wants to play baseball and is capable, plenty capable, of playing college baseball. So he was a commitment of Tony Vitello's, Matt – before the football people said, hey, you're a pretty good football player. Why don't you come take a free ride, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's told me he's told me multiple times, you know, and early when you hear that, it's like, eh, I don't know. Like, you're a football player. But I think for Mark Jefferson, it's really important. Um, as far as keeping him on campus, I mean, he's told me this summer is very important to him in terms of, you know, learning more about, you know, what his future could look like in baseball. So I don't think right now he's a guy you have to worry about, but I think he's a really good baseball player. Um, and I think for him, it's become really interesting because over the last three, four weeks here, he's heard some very interesting pitches from the football side of, side of things, some interesting player comparisons and that type of thing. So he's got a lot to weigh out, but like Brent said, he's just being a kid. He's playing baseball. He's having a good time and he's going to work through this thing as he does. So, so kudos to Amari for that. Let's go to Orange Grizz twenty two sixty three. Hold on a minute. Let's 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 not shortchange him on his question about the best, uh, the, the the most important game or the most. I visit, forgot the most it was day. the best question of the pod uh, so far. Yeah. We can't we can't we can't uh, uh, gloss over that one. All right, Rob, you got you got Georgia and Alabama as the two hardest games. What's the third hardest game for Tennessee uh, on that schedule? Uh, is it A and M, Florida, or is it Kentucky, or is it a no brainer for you? Uh, like if like, it, like if me and you were on the episode of, of House Hunters at the very end, Kentucky's the one we're throwing out. That's that's just that's <laughs> not not in the radar. It's never ever going to be one of the three biggest games on, on Tennessee's schedule. No, um, man, I'll go Florida just because it's on the road. I, I don't think they're going to be very good, but it's early. It, it's so it's it's it, because it's a tone setter. You know, it's it's the first game SEC game out of the gate. Tennessee, I mean, should be favored. Florida, uncertainty at quarterback. You know, kind of piecemeal patchwork on the offensive line. I just, just think if, if you get that one, it just, it, it really, you know, kind of gets you started in the right direction. I, I've got to go Florida too, just because of the history there, Eric. I mean, they found every way to lose that game, and nearly gave it, nearly, nearly didn't get that one home last year when when they were in control. Mm -hmm. So. For, for me, it's always going to be the Florida game, but I'm not the guy to ask there. You all know where I stand on that game. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt, Florida would be the answer for me as well because it's Florida 1. It's on the road. It's early in the season. But that A&M game, it's a big game. I, I think it bodes well in Tennessee's favor. You have the week off prior, though. Yeah, you have the week off prior to A&M. There's some unknown there, too, with them. I mean, if it's the same A&M as last year, then for sure give me Florida. Um, but I, I think – I think Florida, you have to go there. You have to find a way to beat them. You know, just like you did last year, you had to find a way to get that monkey off your back. Now, if you're going to take the next step, you got to go to the swamp and do it. And, and historically that hasn't been easy for Tennessee. Um, they're, they're not the Florida of old. They don't have the quarterback play. I mean, I think, I don't think Anthony Richardson's NFL draft hype was as warranted as it was, but he, well, he sure did keep them alive in Knoxville last fall. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, he and, looked like and, an NFL player that day. Let me tell you. Yeah, that. He, he played out of his mind that day. Yeah. And, and Texas A&M, that I mean, who knows how that season goes? But that could be a dumpster fire by the time they roll in here. Yeah, on Absolutely. October fourteenth. Or they could be really good. Yeah, if they could get, be. If they, I mean, because they have a bunch of talent down there. It's not a question of talent. 
It's just how does it all – how does that whole marriage work with Bobby Petrino? Can they find quarterback play? Can they keep a locker room together? I mean, it could be, wow, they're the surprise darlings, or they could be, wow, how's, how much is that Jimbo Fisher buyout really now at this point? Much the way mm-hmm. that conversation drifted a year ago for them. Spoiler, it is still a whole lot of money.